walk into danger. The cold heartbeat of suspense. Escape in the white glow of fury. For this is High Adventure. This is High Adventure, the meeting place for the Society for the Preservation and Purveyance of Strange and Suspenseful Stories of Men and Women, those living the one moment in their lifetime that deserves and preserves the meaning of High Adventure. For this session, I'm your host with a story called Waybill on the meeting agenda. It concerns a man who hopped a train to get away from it all and found himself boxed in. And, of course, that man must tell it. His name... Red Henderson. You often hear people say that if a fellow wants something, he'll go out and get it. If he wants it bad enough, he'll find some way to get it. But my trouble wasn't exactly that. I went after something, but I didn't know what I was going after. Like a couple of million other guys, I was overseas for a long time, and when I came back to the hometown and a wife I barely knew, it was hard to settle down. Yeah, it was hard. But the payoff came that night the wife and I were walking home from the movies. Well, that's the last time I'm going to see a picture I don't know anything about. Oh, you didn't like it? Did you? Sure I did. I think you wouldn't want to be reminded of war. How do you know what I like? Just common sense. I wouldn't understand. You weren't there. Well, I'd like to see one of those color musicals, you know, with a lot of songs, smart dancing, something that's fun to watch. Teenage stuff. You ever going to grow up? Maybe you should grow up, Red. Me? No, it's me. Well, look, we can't even go to a movie without... Oh, your... shut up, will you? This guy in the movie, he had the right idea. It was silly. And throwing his life away just because he gets a letter from his girl. Would you have waited for me if I hadn't married you before I went over? Yes, Red. You'd have written me a dear John. Sure you would. I'd have waited. I went out and grew up. You just stayed a kid. You don't know what life is. Well, it certainly isn't fighting and drinking and men acting like boys and tearing up a That's bar. That's what I mean. You don't understand. No, I don't. If you don't like it here, why don't you go back to the Army? Maybe I will. Don't worry about me. I can support myself. I did it before. Sure. You like it so much? What are you stopping here for? That's what I mean, Jane. What? Over there. What, the freight yard? Yeah. Well, what about them? You wouldn't understand. Maybe I would. Trains are going somewhere. Yes? I'd just like to be on one. What do you want? I don't know. I've tried to be a good wife. Yeah. Red? Just get in one of those cars and go. It's a beautiful night. Get away and go anywhere. Let's go home. Get a little excitement for a change. Red, honey. Yeah, go somewhere. Well, why don't you go, then? What? Go on. I don't care. Maybe I will. Go ahead. Sure. Well, mind me. Go off and find your excitement. You're just a kid. You don't understand. I don't understand. That's all you can say. Well, go on. Go wherever you want. Maybe I don't understand. All right, I will. Red? Red, it's cold out here. You're going back to the nice little house, nice little job, nice little fire. What are you going to do? Just what you said. Yeah. Help me up. What? If you're going, so am I. You're crazy, Jane. Help me up. Come on back. All right, I'll get up some way. Now, listen, Jane, you're acting like a spoiled... What do you think you're acting like? Sit with me. i got to go and see Why things. Why don't too. you help the lady up? you got no manners. What's the idea? Grab my hand, sweetie. Oh, thank you. Hey, Deacon, we got company. Crazy. We didn't know anybody was in this guy. Hey, you got luck, sweetie. We'll take another. Come on, Jane. What's the hurry? We don't mind company, do we, Deacon? Crazy. You too hot? Hot? Cops after you. No, of course not. Come on, Jane. Stick around. Flag's going to pull out any minute now. But you better douse that smoke. We don't want any yard bulls to spot us when we roll through the yards. Oh, yeah, I guess it's better. Where are you heading? I don't know. Good place to go. Jane, you better get out before the train starts. Come down to see you off, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going along. Grow up, will you? If she wants to go along, why don't you let her? No, Jane? she's just a kid. She's old enough. Nice to have a woman along sometime. Come on, Jane. Let her stay. She doesn't know from anything. She'll learn. Not many bulls riding the drags these days. No women at all. 
Is that right, Deacon? Crazy. So we'll make it one big happy family. And when we get down to the warm country... What's the matter? We'll... Shut up. It's cold. We'll make it off of here before... Get over the... in the corner with a Deacon. What is it? Yard pools. Get out of the door. car's empty, you won't trip over anything. They never even looked in. What do they do if they catch us? Pull us off, turn us over to the local pools. Both? Police. We haven't done anything. Put yet. a bag chart on us to hold us. You gotta watch it down south to make you work it out down there with chains in some places. What kind of crime is bag? It means you got no money. Or maybe you ain't a bag chump. What? You look like you might have some cash in your pocket. I might. Glad to hear it. Jane, I think we ought to get out of here. Nothing, sweetie. Relax. Just a drag getting rolling. Rolling? These hoggers on the freight drag don't start off easy like a fancy passenger train. Oh. Well, at least it'll be warmer with the door closed. Don't worry, sweetie. When we get down south, it'll be nice and warm. And on the way down, I'll see that you... Closed. What? Door closed. Yes. Give me a hand, Pete. Give me a hand. Please, please. Come on. Help here, will you? Yeah, sure. Get it open. What's the matter? Shove, shove. Get open. All right, all right. It's no use. Always I know it was going to happen someday. Breeze. Shut up. The door's locked. Yeah. If it wasn't so dark, I wouldn't mind. At least it's warmer. Like a rat in a trap. What's the matter? You've been on the road before. No, you haven't. The door is locked. Well, we'll just have to wait till somebody unlocks it. That might be a day, a month, or a year. This car's got no way bill. It can sit out in the corner of a yard or on a siding somewhere and nobody will ever come near it. And what are we going to eat? What are we going to drink all that time? Like rats in a trap. I told you to get out, didn't I? I told you. We'll have some excitement for change. Yeah. Yeah. At least I'll... I'll maybe get a chance to die in pretty company. Huh, sweetie? Yes. You shut up. I gotta plan this out. Something I can work on. I'll stand in a factory all day. Yeah. I'm going somewhere. Life or death. Something I can work on. Though many great men have attained the highest office in our land, the presidency of the United States. Can you guess the name of this man? He was born in Kentucky in 1809. When the family moved to Illinois, he began to work as a farm laborer, a salesman, a merchant, and a surveyor. During a series of debates with Stephen A. Douglas, he took such a pronounced stand against slavery that he acquired national fame. In 1860, he was elected president and re-elected in 1864. The Civil War began one month after his inauguration and continued through his administration. I'm sure you all know his name by now, but if you don't, here's an important clue. He was shot by John Wilkes Booth at Ford's Theater, Washington, D.C., on April 14, 1865. Yes, he was Abraham Lincoln, 16th President of the United States. His life is part of your American heritage. No way to tell how long we rode or how far we went. There was some straw in one corner of the boxcar. We made it as soft as we could in the dark and tried to sleep. When we woke, it was daylight and the train was still moving. It was still dark in the car, but we could see light through a crack in the roof. It was rough riding, but it wasn't the bumps that got me. It was thinking about a cool, wet glass of water. And the more you thought of it, the more thirsty you got. 
And then the train was stopped. And the little skinny man who was the deacon was deliberately pounding on the door. Will you cut that out, Deacon? Maybe somebody will hear it. You've got to listen for voices, then make the noise. If he wants to do it, let him. He'll be sorry when he's too tired to do it anymore. Maybe so. Get a good sleep, sweetie. I ache all over. Bumpy road today. This car is certainly no Pullman. You'll get used to it. I'll stop that candy. <laughs> What did he do? Hit him one, I guess. Oh. Why'd you let him? Why? What business is it of mine? None, I suppose. Red. What? I'm thirsty. Oh, shut up. Can't we get out? What do you think? Aren't you thirsty? I'm all right. This is what you wanted. I didn't ask you to come along. No, you didn't. All right, then. Oh, please, Red. <sighs> Isn't there some way we can... Go back to sleep, will you? All right. If he doesn't like you, sweetie, I'm around. Who asked you to butt in? I asked myself. Well, you got your answer. What's the matter, chum? You don't want her, but you don't want anybody else to cut in. I told you. That's not being friendly. Get in the other end of the car. Because you tell me to. That's it. Sweetie, your friend's kind of bullheaded, what? huh? If he don't like you, why worry about it? He's my husband. So what? Get back. Listen to him talk, sweetie. Oh, what? Go. You want to get hurt? He's going to be a rough boy, so I'll just have Red. to... Keep back, Jane. Big rough Red, boy. Red, listen. Don't worry, will you? Listen, listen. What? Rain. The crack in the roof. Rain? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's see if it's coming in. Please. Get out of the way, will you? Let me get out. Yeah. Coming through. Yeah, yeah. Got to get something. Pouring right through. Got to get something to catch it in. I look into the whole car. There's nothing here. Oh, they don't run in my mouth. Something to catch the water. A yeah. shoe. Yeah, yeah, a shoe. Oh, let me get it. Water. Let me fill the shoe. Man, that's good. Move over, will you? Watch out, kid. Uh, I said get over. Fill a shoe, yeah. Get mine. Lots of water. Coming in fine. Don't spill it. Don't worry. Isn't that about full? Well, keep your shirt on, will you? There, that's got it. I'm not thirsty. I don't know about the taste, but... Oh, hurry, will you, Red, so I can have a drink? What? I said hurry up and drink so I can have one. Here, Jane, go ahead and... I can wait. I said drink it. All right. Oh, that's wonderful. You want another? Please, Red. Sure. What's that? Train starting again. Let me get it, the one. It might run off if we're moving. Not yet. I gotta get some more. She gets another drink first. You're walking into trouble, Chuck. She gets it first. Juicy steak and a whole swimming pool full of water. Yeah. You know, we haven't eaten for two whole days. Oh, look, will you shut up? I wish it would rain again like it did yesterday. What's he doing? He's trying to scrape the wood around the screws. What screws? Around the door latch. Oh. Where's the other one? Somewhere in the car sleeping. I don't know. Red. Yeah. Did you ever get thirsty or hungry when you were over in the Pacific? No, no, no. we had it pretty good. I wish it would rain again. Red. All I ask is the next time this thing stops, somebody walks by. Oh, yes, Red. I tried to talk with the deacon guy while you were sleeping. What did he say? Oh, nuts. I guess everybody's nuts one way or another. Yeah. Red. What? Do that again. Do what again? Bring your hand through my hand. Feels good. Even though it's dark, I know you're near me. Lie still. Do it again. Lie still. Yes, right. I told you to keep away from her. Let go. 
You touch her again, and I'll kill her. Here, give her up, boy. Uh, you didn't go to war, did you, big man? Hey, you You want to have been with us. I don't know what's wrong. Oh, oh, oh. How we get him in the dark? Just like uh, this. Nice, huh? Don't kill you think you're tough? Don't you don't like it? Why? Don't kill it. No. No, I won't. All right? Yeah. You took on me. Fred. Oh, Tad. Lie down. Oh, Tad. It's all right, honey. Thirsty. I... Well, I need a... I need a drink. A drink. I took something out of me, just as it did him. My throat was dry and it was hard to talk, and I could feel my body drying up. That's the way it felt. You never know how it feels until you go without water. I was hungry, but the thirst was what was getting me. But there was Jane. She was hungry, and she was thirsty, too. Jane. So we all lay there in the dark, waiting, shoes off, ready, waiting right under the crack in the roof. Finally, it came. Rain. Rain. Red rain. Drink. Get back. Water. Her first. Yeah, yeah. Stay back. Got it. Have you got it? I can't see. Here, Jane. I can't find your hand. Water. Where is it, honey? Wait a minute. Where are you going? First one goes to the deacon this time. Oh, yes, Red. Deacon? Deacon, where are you? He's over by the door. Yeah. Deacon. Deacon, it's your turn first, mister. Hey. Wake up. I got some... Yeah. Did he like the water? Yeah. I'm glad you did it. I didn't mind waiting. Here. A drink. Oh, thanks. Sure. Water. Now, let me get some. Gone. Gone. Oh, oh, God. Let me see. What is it, Red? Rain stopped. No more? No, honey. Come on. Go on. Jane. Jane, come over here on the straw. All right. Are you... You all right? A little better. Where are we going, Red? Somewhere. Will it be an exciting place like you want? Yeah, 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 honey. Red? Yeah. Will we get there soon? Yeah, okay, soon. again. Yeah. Tell me. What? This is the end of the line. Just about. I know it was. I'm... I'm sorry, honey. For what? For what? A lot of things. Don't be. I am. I'm always too late. No, no. Like... Like when I took the water over for the deacon. When was that? Yesterday? 
The second I'd... The second I'd bent over to give it to him, I knew... I knew he couldn't drink it. I can... I can smell when they're dead. He didn't need it. Maybe it was his heart or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It wasn't too late you thought of him. He's dead. But you thought of him. No, it's too late. You... You know what I wish now? That I'd... That I'd not... Be too late with you, honey. You thought of him. But... But everything is nothing. Like you said... That's the end of the line. Always too late. I, I, I wanted you to know. You gave him water. You thought of him first. Mm -hmm. But too late. Too late for anything. Ah, there now. You see there? The screws are loose in the lock. Just uh, mark this one for the back shop. Remember what I was telling you about the doors the other day? Hmm. Uh, leave, the, leave the door open. Just, just mark it. Well, that's hard to say. Jane. You thought of him. Jane. Oh, Red. Red. The door is open, Jane. It's open. Come on, I'll, I'll help you. Come on. Come on. Oh. Jane, the door is open. Open. He thought of him. He thought of you. Let me... Lift you. No, let me lift you down. No. Jane. Oh, Jane, look. You thought of him. You gave him water. There's. There's the. The bank building, you see? And, and the church. You see? We're right, right home where we started. He gave it to you. He gave it to you. What? He gave it to you. He gave it to you. Loose door latch. He gave you water. He gave it to you. He gave it to me. I... He gave me. I'll... I'll help you, Jane. Come on. We're going home. Another story of men and women living the greatest emotional experience of a lifetime. The kind of story that only can be called High Adventure. Be with us again next week when we bring you another High Adventure. This is the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service.